perfect. Now first, we're gonna draw the eye. It looks like cockroach look. As you can see, the top is an inverted Among Us. Before anything, I just want to say that my Smegzy merch is still ongoing. You can buy it on fanjoy.co slash cooling. Look at these Smegzy designs. You will buy it. You will spend money on me. Anyway, on to the video. First, we got this from Kaya. Ooh, the makeup looks really good. What's their name? Twink. Oh, wow. Really? You're not even gonna give a name? What happened to introductions? Just straight up twink? Interesting. Anyway, I really like the makeup look. So let's start with a circle real quick. Now, first, we're gonna draw the eye. It looks like cockroach legs, which is what we're aiming for. Anyway, just copy paste real quick. Now, let's draw the smile. He looks like a Roblox face. You drew him naked? Wow, really? No human decency at all. So let's just add some clothes because we're the bigger person. And then, let's draw a little neck tattoo over here. It's inspired by your ugly ass watermark. Just draw some random angel number or something. The hoes are gonna love this one. Okay, so now we're gonna start coloring. Okay, this is too bright for me. I hate bright colors. Let's tone it down a bit. I'm so excited to recreate the makeup. The makeup is like all over the cheeks. It's giving I'm allergic to seafood, but I still ate it. Let's draw the eyes now. Just draw two soulless voids for now. That's just gonna have to do. And now the juicy lips. You wanna make it puffy like that. Now, for my favorite part, the juicy highlights. Just put it on the nose, the eye corners right here, and above the lips. So now we got this so far. Now let's make the hair gradient for that cinematic look or whatever. Let's also put blushies on the shoulders for that baby girl effect. Okay, now let's do the eyes. So this is what the TikTokers call siren eyes. It's basically just seductive and sultry. And to do that, you really have to sharpen the eyeliner, okay? And the corner of the eye like this. This honestly looks so weird zoomed out, but let's just trust the process. And let's draw the spider eyelashes. This is the most essential part if you want to achieve the siren eyes look. Just gonna retouch it a bit. Now we do the juicy lips. We just airbrush it like that. Now we just copy paste the other eye like so. I don't know why, but right now he reminds me of the ninja turtles. I think I'm gonna make the eyes smaller a little bit. Okay, now let's draw the bangs real quick. Okay, I figured out what was wrong. The iris is too small. He needs to look like an alcoholic like the rest of my characters. So we are going to make the eyes bigger. And instantly. Shazam! Uncanny Valley. Let's add more blushies. Kawaii Uwu style. Let's add some highlights. He looks too dead inside. Okay, now let's go back to those lips. If you want more definition, simply add a shadow like this. It's like a little bird. Then add a shadow on the bottom as well. Juicy highlight. I'm gonna add the eye highlight once again because it just keeps disappearing, okay? For the hair, let's add these random dark doodles. You will see how they will turn out later. Okay, Picasso. After the dark parts, we put the highlights. As you can see, the top is an inverted among us and the rest are banana shape it follows the shape of the head let's add some lines for more definition now let's shape the highlighter it's just a little speed paint so you can see the process and i'm gonna blend these together Right. Okay, I'm not digging the color. So let's just change the hue real quick. Here's the difference before and after. Okay, I spent way too long with the hair. But that's okay because he looks like an absolute snap. Princess Bubblegum who? Okay, the shadow is a bit too boring. So to fix that, just add the blue tint right here. And let's add the tattoo bag and do the clothes real quick. Hashtag lazy fix. Let's add a dark filter all over the drawing. Then we add the highlights back, baby. Just to emphasize it. Okay, this is not juicy enough. Let's add more mascara for that extra pop. And all right, we're finished. The ultimate boy toy twink male wife. This is the speed paint in case you want to see the condensed version because you have ADHD. All right, next we got this furry art by Tofuk Sen. Wow, I really like the design. I like how you pair the very traditional inner clothes with a modern jacket and added a hint of degeneracy by drawing furry ears. Anyway, I'm drawing on Clip Studio, by the way, link in description. So let's work on the composition. I'm gonna draw his head to the side, just adding the furry ears. And over here on the left, let's showcase his furry tail. We're gonna emphasize that, oh yes. Now let's add the skin and the blushies, obviously. Okay, so I'm finished with blocking out the colors. Now let's proceed to yassifying. Okay, I'm like really blind. Okay, I can't tell if your OC has blue or green eyes. Let's make him frown a little bit more. We want that whiny baby girl expression. Next, his skull looks too low. Nothing a little liquify can't fix. Okay, I think I want to make him darker. Right. Now here's the deal. Because I made his skin darker, there's barely a contrast between the skin and the hair. So you want to make the hair darker too, just to make 
make the color values more distinct. Hashtag basic art tips from Cooley. We're gonna add the highlights. Oh, I forgot. He also got these earrings. I don't really know what his costume is based on, but I dig it anyway. Anyway, fast forward. Here I am doing the hair. I don't really want to explain this because honestly, I'm just winging it, okay? Pulled up a hair picture on Pinterest and I'm just doing my best to understand the logic. But anyway, pro tip. If you think the hair looks too bad, just add these thin detailed strands just to make it seem like you're an expert. Let's just do his color real quick. And yeah, for the tail, since the tail is a bit farther away, let's make it lighter a little bit. Just think of it like fog. The farther away it is, the lighter it gets. Okay, so for the floral stuff, I am absolutely not drawing that. I'm drawing on Clip Studio, right? So I just downloaded this free brush from their asset store. I will never draw detailed flowers. What, do you think I'm a masochist or something? For the final touch, just add this soft light. Then I'm gonna blur the furry tail just a little bit to add more depth. Okay, let's also add the rim light. When in doubt, just add rim light. That is my life motto. So yeah, this is the final result. Here's our little speed paint. What do you guys think? If I miss anything, let me know. Okay, last one for today. This is by Your Desire. A very edgy username. Okay, first of all, the blade placement is very concerning. Like, what if she trips? However, the lips are very juicy though. Anyway, I'm gonna try to incorporate these random designs that you did in the corner right here. Anyway, I found this. I'm gonna draw her like this, just so I can teach you how to achieve this, okay? First and foremost, just draw the silhouette. Okay, once we got the sketch, let's work on the hair a little bit. Okay, once we're finished with the sketch, let's block out the base colors. Alright! Right now, her hair looks crusty off, but let's not focus on that. If you want to achieve this, add a light color on the right side of the face, like this. Now, since the right side is bright, the left side is dark. Yes, very kindergarten logic. Even though this is all just shadow, you still want to flesh out the face. So, for example, the corner of the eye is still lighter. Alright, now we're adding more definition. Let's airbrush the iris like I always do, then add the juicy lashes, then the highlight. Repeat for the other side. So let's soften it up with an airbrush. Okay, so I actually want to add that little Walmart barcode right here. This is your watermark, right? Your desire. I just think it would be cool to put it. It gives a very edgy cyberpunk look. Let's make the hair lighter, then start putting the shadows over here. Just follow the split on the hair. And just like I told you guys, add this halo among us shape on the hair and define it using a darker color. Okay, I'm just finishing up on the body real quick. Just doing some airbrushing, nothing too complex. Fast forward, so I added a background. I don't really know why I added these stars. It's so freaking corny. I just wanted a lazy background, okay? But no, it's corny out. So instead of doing that, let's just add a little window right here. Then add a shine. See that? Lazy background. Now, this is the final result. Okay, here is our last speed paint for today. Anyway, just a little reminder that my merch is still ongoing, you can still buy. It's linked in the description. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video, watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool!